Hello, Mother. What will we be looking at today? We will be looking at art forms and processes that may be considered marginal. Please explain. Well, marginal means being located out of order or age. An example being the margin of a page. But it could also suggest something that is not central, not mainstream, but a peripheral alternative. Good day to you. My name is Henry Tate. Today I will show you how to make an alternative portrait from scrap pictures. Let's go. First of all, find a picture, a photograph of a face. Here I have chosen my good friend Charles Sachi. Carefully cut out the picture. The next stage is to choose some googly eyes. Here I have a selection of googly eyes and I have chosen some with blue mascara which I think will suit him wonderfully. Glue the googly eyes to the photograph, making sure not to spill any glue. Already you have your alternative portrait, and that was made in under a minute. But if you have more time, you can do some other things. Look at his eyes wiggle. Oh, Charles! So you can carry on to make your alternative portrait by adding some extra bits. Firstly, add a body. And in this case, I have chosen Dixon of Dot Green, that famous television policeman. Now I think to add depth to our portrait, we can add some money. Oh, Charles, have you swallowed the money? You can also add a pithy caption, such as, Ad Boss helped boost Thatcher. Oh, Charles. Then carefully glue down all the pieces and voila, your alternative portrait. Oh, wonderful. So what do you think of that, Charles? Do you like it? Uh, no, I don't think it's a fucking liberty. Here is the village called Barn Rom Klau, where live the Hmong people once fled from Lao. Its hills once host the scourge of war. The poppy grew silently at their door.
Here is the mother who sits and sews, depicting a secret that nobody knows. To guess the meaning, I bet you can't. It's a footprint of an elephant. Today. I am reading Orientalism by Edward Said. Tell us about it. In the book he explores how European states and scholars portrayed Islamic and other states to their east. Do go on, Metamorph. He writes that empires like the British Empire, when they colonized countries like India, believed that they were helping them by bringing them the benefits of modern civilization. But, he says, their real interests were more concerned with power and control. What do you think that means to us today? Perhaps that we should be wary when any state intervenes in another foreign country, claiming it is for the benefit of that country. Thank you, Metamorph. Sounds like you have a lot of interesting reading to do. Not mainstream, but a peripheral alternative. And now, let's see what we have in today's gallery.
Hello, Mutt. Would you like to know the secrets of the art of surrealist magic? In that case, follow my instructions. Supply yourself with materials after having settled yourself in a place as favourable as possible to the mind's concentration on itself. Attain the most passive or receptive state of mind possible. Forget your genius, your talents and those of everyone else. Tell yourself firmly that art is one of the unhappiest routes leading to everything. Draw quickly, with no preconceived subject. So quickly, that you retain nothing and are not tempted to redraw. The first line will come by itself. Since it is true that each second there exists a line foreign to our conscious thoughts, which asks only to be brought out into the open. It is somewhat difficult to make a definite statement about the next mark. No doubt it partakes of our conscious and unconscious activities at the same time. If one admits that the fact of having drawn the first line implies a minimum of perception. Besides, it should matter little to you. Here lies the greatest interest of the surrealist game. Unquestionably, a mark always opposes the absolute continuity of the flow which occupies us. Although it seems as necessary as a distribution of knots in a vibrating rope. Continue as long as you please. Trust in the inexhaustible spirit of the whisper. If silence threatens in the least to establish itself, then you have made a mistake. A mistake, shall we say, of inattention. Here lies the greatest interest in the surrealist game.